bring it to us and we saw the way we looked in the mirror the same way all from, from afraid and shaking and, and you know we realized that they had done this to this woman first and they had killed her she died from this she wasn't the only one uh, there was a girl that lived across the hall from us that said people were following her and she jumped in the river uh, we, she went to the mental hospital they told her she was crazy of course she had lost one of her contact lenses and, but when I looked at you know I thought to myself gee the poor girl I hope she's all right but later when they did it to us I realized that look in her eyes that look in her face that she was dosed out of her mind with MK ultra drugs and they were doing shit to her and they were doing it to us. Uh, you know, later I realized how many other people they had done this to. The guy who, who worked, he was the manager of the hotel, this guy Anthony, at 330 West 51st Street. My belief is that they killed this man because he knew something about this or something. You know, he was a big, strong, healthy guy. And then one day his arms and legs turned black and he died. You know, they had brought in some girl to get him to use drugs or something. Maybe they put battery acid in it. Maybe they used this crazy technology on him. I don't know. But after he died, the things in this hotel changed for the worse, you know. And there were several people who died in this hotel where we were there. Uh, and I was afraid I was going to be one of them. Um, they, they really did some crazy stuff to us. And... and I ramble on, I, I go on and on, but it's time for the world to know, for people to know. This technology is real. This stuff is not science fiction. Uh, it's not in a dream. It's real, and the military has it, the government has it, and probably private industry and even criminal in individuals and organizations have it. Uh, you know, going through an experience like this caused me to start looking for answers and I started to look at this you know what's really going on in the world who's doing what to who and why and what is the state of stuff and what are they doing and what is all this fear why are they selling fear so much you know fear of the end of the world 2012 stock market crash martial law FEMA camps you know you name it it goes on and on and on and you start looking at the truth about 9-11, this inside job, how they use some kind of crazy particle beam, electromagnetic microwave weapon to turn the whole thing into dust and set stuff on fire. And, you know, also they could do what? Go to Iraq and take the oil and steal all the treasures from ancient Egypt and the dawn of time with the secrets of Thoth and all that stuff. Uh, or, you know, where were they trying to open a time portal, a time gate or something? And, you know, this, like, when you start to really look at these things and all these theories about reptilian blood and this crazy trauma-based mind control and people being like an avatar for other spirits or beings that work through them and then you start looking at the ruling class and the, and the bankers and the Illuminati and all this crazy stuff you gotta really wonder, you know, what is going on here? And I think that, that this, why they're leaving us alive to tell this story. There must be a reason. And I think the reason is because they want us to tell the world that our government is doing horrible things to us. And they want us to have fear. And they want us to, they're, they're learning how to manipulate the mind of man through his imagination through electromagnetics and electronics and computers and drugs and social engineering, psychological operations. Um, you know, a scientific methodology to change your belief structure, to change your thought structure, to change your neural pathways, and to lead you to whatever conclusion they want to lead you to, basically. Um, I have to wonder, because a lot of times when I research things and I come up with information and then I think about the information and I compare it to all the other stuff I know and then I make a, a supposition based on uh, the information that I have and then I do some more research and what do I find? I find somebody repeating the same supposition that I just made about the information coming to the same conclusion as me. Now, I have to wonder, does this mean that I'm on the right track or does this mean that there's enough explanations out there that no matter which one I come up with, there'll always be one, or are they actually monitoring what I'm thinking and then putting more information out there to lead me further along this rabbit hole of misinformation? 
you know, because I think what's really being done here is they're learning how to manipulate people's imaginations, minds, bodies, and, and you know, spiritual self, everything. Manipulate it and control it using these tools and imagination. Um, I, I, I believe that they, they, you know, we know the government spends money on all kinds of crazy research, and it is my belief that we have reached a point in history now where uh, science and theosophy, and theology, religion, uh, medicine, and and spiritualism and all these things have come together in in, in a synchronistic uh, view of of you know a new science, a new using ritual and magic and spiritualism, alchemy, technology, uh, medications, social engineering, that they literally, you know, I think we're at the place now where, where uh, we may have time travel, we probably have time looking devices, we probably have teleportation, um, you know, there's all kinds of crazy stories out there about all kinds of things. I don't know how much of it is real and how much of it isn't, but I'll tell you that I have gone through some incredible experiences, experiences that I never thought I would have gone through, experiences that in some, well, for the most part, I wish I had gone through. Uh, the only good thing about these horrible experiences has been that it has led me to look more spiritually inward and outward to look for what is the meaning of my life, my purpose, is there a God, what happens when I die, and I want to be prepared for that, because it's coming. Um, that's the only good thing it's done for me. Uh, besides that, I've suffered greatly, I've lost, you know, 20 years off my life, my beard has turned white, my hair has turned white, falling out, uh, my vision is going bad, I have this high frequency sound constantly bombarding me in my ear, and uh, when I press on my skull, my temple on either side, it gets even louder. Uh, it's there all the time. I believe this is the remote neural connectivity signal that they use to monitor the brain waves and to interact with the brain waves. But I think this technology has been around since the 70s or 80s at least, and they are developing it. They have broken the code of the brain and the internal dialogue, you know, the, the, the non-verbal speech, I think they call it. Uh, they can read that clear as a book, and they know what you're thinking. They know how you're feeling. They can influence how you feel. They can probably feed, you know, uh, I don't know, hive mind stuff is possible. Uh, virtual reality is possible. You know, and I don't know, I don't know what to think about my, uh, my quote-unquote alien counter. Um, possibly it was all a drug-induced delusion. Possibly it was a mind control, you know, virtual reality trick. Or possibly some beings saw that I was suffering from some other beings, you know, evil, and they came to help. Uh, I, I don't know. I really don't. I know that, uh, that I wouldn't be here today if that hadn't happened. Um, the other thing was that I literally was about to kill myself during this thing. Um, I had put up with so much for so long. I mean, you're talking about sleep deprivation for more than a year or more, huge doses of hallucinogenic and other drugs, actual mind manipulation and mind control, exposure to God knows what kind of foreign DNA and creatures and, and technology. And then they did this gang stuff thing where people would walk and bump into me everywhere I went, bump, bump, bump into me, four, five, six, eight, ten people in a block. Uh, and 